What's up guys? Hello from me and my awkward shadow right there. Today we're going to be testing out the Audi RS3 Performance Edition, limited to 300. That combines both Sportback and Sedan. This is a really cool new special edition of the RS3. So a lot of options come standard on this compared to the normal RS3. First of which is obviously this gorgeous blue color, really striking. That's the easiest way to tell this apart from a normal RS3. The second easiest would be these rims, new rim design. Very nice, I actually think these look fantastic, finished in gray, um, kind of really nice glossy gray finish on them. And you may be able to see for the eagle-eyed ones of you, the carbon ceramic brakes on the other side with the blue calipers. Looks awesome. There's a few other fun changes um, around the outside. So obviously you've got the black front end, but you've also got a really cool um, 300 logo that pops up in the daytime running lights. Um, you've got the optional lights in the front as well as standard. Um, and basically it's a really highly specced standard RS3 with the um, performance edition kind of changes to it. It looks awesome, black badges as well. It costs about 13,000 um, euros more than the standard car, but you obviously get all of these things as standard. So yeah, and you get some specific things as well on the interior. Oop. So most notable of which, these bucket seats which are awesome, obviously hold you in a lot more and they're finished in carbon fiber. So when you're sat in the back, you get this beautiful view of the front passenger and the driver with their full carbon fiber buckets. Really, really cool. You can also see back here, you get the blue stitching, the blue seat belt as well is new on this edition. And then this one's got the Bang & Olufsen and you have the one of 300 little plaque right here. Carbon finish, and then the rest is your usual RS3. So you do also get the uh, 12 hour marker right there, uh, 12 o'clock marker, sorry. Um, the interior of this, I'm actually just gonna start it up because it, uh, it's very warm. The interior of these are really nice. Now, one thing power-wise, you get an extra seven brake horsepower. So instead of the 400 that you get in the standard car, we're up to 407. So we're actually gonna try the famous torque rear mode, which is the drift mode later on, and try drifting this thing and see if it kind of lives up to the hype, that mode. Um, one thing I have always noticed on RS3s is, you know, this is now over a 75,000 euro car. The one thing I've always thought is that the fit and finish of everything uh, above the dash right here and this little section down here feels a little bit plasticky. If I had to get one complaint on this interior, that would be it. It's just, I don't know, the seats, everything's in Alcantara, this carbon fiber, the steering wheel feels lovely. You've got a digital dash, which you can adjust however you want it. All of these things. And then you've just got right here and right here and actually on the bottom of the doors, this, yeah, just slightly plasticky feeling uh, material. Alcantara here, and all the rest is, is amazing. I really think it's a beautiful interior. It's just that one thing so that I did want to, uh, want to note. And also around the uh, airbag here. Would be nice if that was finished in leather, which to be honest, I think at 70,000 plus it, it could be. And then, yeah, all the, your standard things, but we're gonna look at all of the driving modes when we're actually having a go in this car right now. I've called in reinforcement for this part of the video. Again, it seems like you're in many videos. Okay, RS3 <laughs> Performance Edition. You know what? This is really cool. It's got loads of front end grip. And the brakes, because the car's not that heavy, it really kind of stops on the brakes. And we're in a light car, but obviously with the uh, pack, you've got carbon ceramics, which definitely feel overkill for this platform. But yeah, 407 horsepower, I mean, the, the seven extra horsepower probably don't make much of a difference. I mean, I haven't driven the standard car, but this is a lot more comfortable on track than I thought it may be. We're in RS performance mode because I think the guys who developed this car probably know best what, uh, yep. what settings we need. The it's carbon- It's nimble. Yeah, it is nimble. The carbon bucket seats really um, hold you in nicely. Ooh. Is this like a double apex? I, I think so. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> There's like this <laughs> weird- going cool. straight. Yeah. <laughs> it's just never ending. <laughs> is this flat? Yeah, this is flat. Yeah. But I'm impressed most by the brakes. I mean, for a car of this category, 
the having carbon ceramics is is really cool and also how much you can push it around and it responds nicely to it i mean look here front end you're coming in quick downhill on the brakes and it feels pretty planted and then out of the corner stable the traction control systems are doing their thing oh, you know what this is really nice this is probably the most you know unuseful consumer feedback because how many rs3 owners are really going to take their car on track i'm not sure it's probably more of a country lane cruncher but is what it is the steering's really communicative as well it feels surprisingly light it feels a lot more nimble and light than i thought it necessarily would and you can push in the front end where you want it to go and this interior i know this is obviously not the best test to test interior ergonomics but it feels intuitive when you know i'm driving on track and even though all the systems i have to admit they're like absurdly complicated and a bit overkill in how complicated they are you feel like even on track you can navigate through the systems if you need to good transition and weight not too much body roll brakes are still i mean i'm braking too early i'm braking far too early okay one last lap super late braking okay all right sense, all right marcus full sense Oh, you feel it under braking moving there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a real test of the Quattro systems. Okay, here we go. We're carrying some speed now. Oh my god, I'm still yeah, braking too early. Until the corner is oh my god. Late brakes. Okay, here we go. Here we go, okay. Let's test it out. There you go. Now the car's getting some heat into those brakes. Yep. Still got some, some space. Yep. And the car's handling it no problem. Oh, this is fun. Well done, Audi. Oh my God, I mean, so much. I feel like Marcus, you're gonna do some late braking. <laughs> no, but it's like, uh, however late, not, I mean, <laughs> however late you brake, it's still too early. Yeah, it's like it's nuts. Yeah, this, this is like a proper. <laughs> I'm just gonna do one cool down. Yeah, now. yeah, let's see. That. But that was great. It feels nimble. I think you. I feel like you can feel the short wheelbase. Yeah, you can feel the short wheelbase, and I actually feel like this new double two clutches give thing that yep. they've set up but it's just it's like there's yeah. all these complicated names um it feels like it's doing its job and like when the car starts getting a bit out of place it will speed up one tire or slow down another yep. in order to give the car the bite that it really needs and honestly carbon ceramics on a car of this type with this wheelbase yeah. um, and 407 horsepower, it feels quick. It is. It's not. It's not lacking anything. It's like, this is like a properly fast car. Very. In, I'm very impressed. But you know what? Enjoyable. I want to see what it's like uh, with you. <laughs> this is the. You've got a puke. This is the official Marcus test with me, who's uh, a sketchy passenger. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, we can do one. Brake, Marcus, brake! Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. They definitely really work. Oh my god, that front end. It's biting. Oh my god. Okay. God, you feel those brakes? It's insane. And the grip coming out, and the the power as well. Even hey. that was too fast, too early. I know, right? Every time you think you're good, but you you keep out braking yourself. Ooh. This 
corner is so yeah. strange. It is. I think it's 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 slow in fast out. Has yeah, to be. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> not fast in fast Conclusion out. Conclusion on that. Uh... <laughs> Look at this. Spot on. Yeah, that, that was, was good. spot on. Coming in, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I think we've outbraked ourselves. Oh my god. And they're not fading because they're ceramics. To be honest, they are fading a little bit right now. Oh, are they? <laughs> yeah. Oh. A little bit. Well, there goes my my my. Okay. Be sure. <laughs> this is a super technical. Seven Marcus review. Whoa, that bird nearly just lost its life. <laughs> Okay, late braking. Oh, you get like proper G forces. <laughs> you do. Okay, let's try slow in fast out. Yeah. Nope. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Is this going to be an interesting test? Because not many people will drive their RS3s here, as I said earlier. <laughs> but the reality is, it actually puts in context how smart this car is. Woo! Yep. That'll do the job. Okay, so there you go, you hold it tight. That's the one! That's the one! Here we go! Okay, cool down. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like it? It's so much fun. Honestly, right. honestly, could be more fun than the R8. Which, if you have to see... Because I don't know what order the videos will come out in, okay. but we have also driven an R8 today. Yeah. Which is crazy. I was thinking the same thing when I was yeah. driving. Like, it feels more accessible. It. It's like, it's... It's easier to push in a way. Yeah. And it feels, I don't know, it's like the shorter wheelbase, lower weight. It's, I think it's like sort of the same reason that people like the 718 or yeah. the 911. Because it's just like a bit shorter, a bit yeah, for sure. lighter, and also more I nimble. Was, it's just more nimble. I was worried it was going to be super understeering, but it's not. Yeah, no, 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 no. Not at all. It's more on the oversteering side. Yeah. Really impressive. Okay, that was fun. The oversteery. On that note, <laughs> let's try and test this drift mode a little bit more, shall we? Even though that's not the official name, so we're terribly sorry, Audi. But the official name is Tor 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 Okay. <laughs> sorry about that. Anyways, let's go to a drift track. So I'm just driving around, right? Normal, in my efficiency mode. I'm on a track, so I'm able to film whilst I do this. So just cruising about, and then I decide which mode I want. So I've got efficiency, comfort, auto, or dynamic, okay? Now, I can go, let's say, dynamic, and that's kind of your standard, if you're just driving around, your standard sporty mode. But you have in the RS3, and in this performance edition, RS3 modes so rs individual which you can set up rs performance right so this one right here which is now kind of audi's version of the track ready um, mode for this car and in that you can actually then come here and change your suspension your steering different things like that but what we're going to play with now is rs torque rear do not use RS Torque Rear Profile on public roads. Switch to ESC off for advanced functions. So you press that right there. And then down here you have your traction control off button. Press that. It will say right there. See st 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 stabilization control ESC switched off. Warning restricted. Okay, now paddles up. We're in manual mode and we're now going to switch to fixed cameras to show you what it feels like. I apologize in advance if I'm not really commenting much. I'm going to try and concentrate for this. Okay, here we go, guys. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> nice to know you, Sam. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> it's insane.
It really drifts, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's so <laughs> much fun. RS Talk Rear, to be corporate, the drift mode between you and I, is uh, very fun and very effective. Thank you. <laughs> I hope there's not too much wind. Conclusion of today is that this car, the Audi RS3 Performance Edition, is a huge amount of fun. I'm trying to shelter you from the wind right now. I've had an amazing day driving around in this. Let me let me sit inside because I really feel like there's going to be too much wind. Okay, that's more like it. I've had such a fun day at the wheel of this car. Um, honestly, awesome. It's a shame there's only 300. It's a shame they're probably all sold out already. But this probably uh, gives us an idea of some of the technology and some of the new features that will be on future upcoming RS3s, which is really exciting. So uh, yeah, it's just been so cool to be able to experience the RS3 first time for me of this generation. So huge thank you to Audi for letting me have a go. And honestly, if ever you get the opportunity to drive one of these, even though we didn't drive it on the road, which I know is maybe what we should have done, but it's not as much fun. Um, please take that opportunity because they are awesome cars. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much to Audi, of course. And cheers. Take care.